Just kind of want to give a, an update on the SETI at Home rig, my main dedicated SETI at Home rig. Um, I have been offline for, I don't know now, three to four months with this project. I had everything pretty much torn down, ready to get a complete custom water uh, cooling kit uh, to where all four GPUs and the CPU are going to be all under the same loop. Uh, it was going to be epic. And then my appendix exploded and I ended up with a $5,000 hospital bill which took away all the money for this project. Or at least the money that I had left over. But uh, just want to let you guys know the system is back up and running. We've got a uh, Intel i7-5960X and we're running that at 3.5 gigahertz right now I believe. Um, I had it at 3.8 but I don't have any auxiliary air blown on the system right now and I am using the air cooler so I bumped it back down to <clears throat> excuse me 3.5 1600 watt power supply from EVGA and I'm running four Titan XP with EVGA hybrid water cooling kits on them uh, we're obviously not running in SLI I'm just using that SLI bridge there as support for having uh, four cards in the system um, and we are also running Linux Lubuntu as our operating system. So you may recall from the first video I did on this uh, computer that we had all those GPUs on um, risers and the uh, radiators and fans and everything was splayed all over the place. So we actually got it all confined into the case now, which cleans it up a little bit. But as you can see, it's just a complete disaster in there. Um, once again, my ultimate goal is to get this thing completely water cooled, but uh, losing a body part and spending some time in the hospital <laughs> kind of prevented that. Uh, so I'll just show some footage here. I unfortunately can't, we'll turn the monitor on, but I can't show you that we're actually crunching in uh, SETI at home right now because I decided to get everything back up and running on a Tuesday and for those of you familiar with the SETI at home the uh, project goes down on Tuesday morning and uh, is usually down all day yeah you can see we're getting deferred here so uh, a computer like this is going to blow through all of its tasks uh, quite uh, quite quickly when the uh, program isn't uh, isn't sending it and refreshing it so that's just kind of the nature of the business anyway wanted to give a uh, little update say that yes the city at home rig is back online not where I want it to be but it's uh, close enough I guess for now so thanks for watching I would say stay tuned for more updates on this computer, but like I said it's going to be uh, probably quite some time before I get the custom water loop measured out, purchased, installed, and running properly. To add insult to injury, uh, you know, I don't know if I ever had a video from way back in the day, but I used to have that CPU water cooled. And here is all of the equipment. And for those of you with a keen eye, you'll probably notice that something is not right with the metal inside there. So I screwed something up um, with this uh, project. This is almost all EK products, but I think the culprit was that little piece of silver in there. I think that reacted with uh, all the other metals. I was told if you drop a hunk of silver in there that it'll keep your water from growing bacteria and all that and I was just using distilled water nothing else but there was clearly some type of reaction um, that little chunk of silver is about the only thing I can think of that would have uh, caused a reaction like that if anybody has any input there uh, I'd love to know it before I go build a multi thousand dollar water cooling system for this computer but anyway I am now just rambling so this is kind of a wrap up of the uh, SETI at home rig coming back online. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.